but your iniquities have separated you and your God and your sins have hidden his face from you that he will not hear hallelujah now very briefly I'll just encourage our hearts and then have you wondered why many people keep running unto God Lord help me sicknesses diseases all kinds of infirmities and it looks like in many cases God seems to be helpless hallelujah people come with their sicknesses and go back yet we read in this Bible that verily verily I say unto you he that believeth on me the works that I do he shall also do and greater works hallelujah the Bible says in Acts chapter 10 verse 38 he said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing not some all day that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him in other words oppression comes from Satan correct he said he healed all that were oppressed of who the devil Bible says in John 10 verse 10 he said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill in other words you can look at a life and know whether Satan has passed through that life there is a footprint there are many families you can trace the works of Satan he comes when he comes and meets you he doesn't leave you the same he comes to steal to kill and to destroy Jesus said I am come I am come that ye may have life and have that life in abundance do you believe this hallelujah and here Isaiah is speaking by the Spirit he said the Lord's hand is not short why does it look like God is unable to heal and to deliver why does it look like Satan is prevailing over families all kinds of manifestations of darkness and believers cry and we look so helpless oh God come and save us and we talk about all kinds of satanic manipulations in different families people pray they have vigils they bring pastors and prophets and it looks like Satan is not scratched one bit has that happened to any family here people take communion they take anointing oil they take all kinds of things they pray 21 days fasting 40 days fasting the sickness remains yet the Bible says the hand of the Lord is not too short that he cannot say he said his ears are not so dumb that he cannot hear the prayers of the saints many of you coming here have cried you've gone from pillar to post looking for solution can I tell you something friends especially those of you who are in the ministry Christianity is useless until it can present the love of Jesus to people in a practical and a personal way are you listening to me a lot of people who say miracles is it really necessary just teach people the word now the day you get into trouble you will know the need for the power of God because some of you are just laughing but there are families that came right now is a matter of life and death hallelujah there are many people here with all kinds of sicknesses doctors have probably given you reports that you have a few days or a few weeks to live maybe HIV maybe cancer tumors growths all kinds of things barrenness and all kinds of people coming with every manifestation of curses and whatever delays you cannot account for hallelujah so when we're talking about miracles we're not just talking about healing in your body alone are you listening to me we're talking about miracles signs wonders breakthrough you know what breakthrough is 
breakthrough occurs when whatever is limiting you is taken away so that you are no more limited financial breakthroughs breakthrough in your life in your mind that you advance there are many of us you remain in circles no accomplishment no achievement there's nothing to show for it there are many families that are represented that way so I like your heart to be set tonight. Don't just come to spectate and watch others. While I prayed for this meeting, I said, Lord, start with me tonight. That's what I told God. I said, Lord, as I dispense your power and as we show how powerless Satan is tonight, listen, let me tell you something. God will demonstrate one more time that every sickness is a spirit. It has an ear, it has a name, and it can bow. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. They won't just bow. For there is a name. There is a name. We come in that name. And David stood before Goliath. He said, you come to me with your spears, but I come to you in the name of the Lord God, the captain of the host of Israel. The one who you have defied. Tonight, whatever has defied prayers, fasting, whatever, you will watch it bow right before your eyes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Make sure that as you are standing tonight, you are also connecting with your family. He said, as for me and my house. That while you are here, the Bible says, when the centurion said no i am not worthy that you should come to my house but speak the word only the bible says as he declared man that result was happening in the house and people ran back with testimonies that that very same hour so the power of god knows no distance and no barrier he stood from the tomb of lazarus and shouted and that sound reverberated in hell. No distance. It picked one person and brought him back into this earth realm. I want you to know that you are not coming to the kind of God that many people in their religion have presented. As if God is just a little greater than Satan. No. I come to present to you an all-powerful God tonight. One who is limited by nothing. Hallelujah limited by nothing he searched the heavens and the entire span of galaxy to find who was greater than him so that he would submit to and swear by and he found no man and the bible says he chose to swear by himself that by these two immutable things it is impossible for god to lie we have seen testimonies upon testimonies in this place the hand of god changing blood groups from ss to aa all kinds of bone conditions, cancers, tumors, HIV. For if it has a name, then it has a knee and it can bow. In the realm of the spirit, only the lesser bows to the greater. It's an aberration for the greater one to bow to the letter. And tonight we come with a name. Call cancer a name. Call HIV a name. Call breakthrough. What, whatever All kinds of mental bondages that subject people into pain in life cause delays that you cannot experience tonight you will experience the liberty of the spirit I like your heart to be open don't be a spectator see the Bible says they had the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not be mixed with faith when you hear the word like this you say Lord this is me they are talking about. When it's time for your power to move, as you are healing people, I will clap for my neighbor, but let me rejoice. Because your hand is not too short. You are able to save. Let me tell you something, friends. If God cannot help you, you are finished. Because no man can help you. He said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? He said, my help comes from the Lord, the maker. Some of you are standing outside because there are no chairs. Let me tell you something. Make sure you don't waste your experience. You are standing. No one knows you in this crowd. But I like you to press. 
the woman with the issue of blood took initiative she said tonight i will break some rules if i may but touch the helm of his garment you may call me unclean but i will press whatever you want to say about me we will discuss when they saw Jesus in the room, the people found that they could not press. They said, look, let's tear this zinc. We will negotiate with the man after he gets healed. There is a way you can be desperate for a miracle. There is a way you can be tired of the state of your life and your family. That dissatisfaction is the raw material you need for the miraculous. For the Bible says, woe unto every man who is at ease in Zion. It takes a level of anger that you say like Jacob, Lord, people have been celebrating the same sickness that brought me here. And let it change tonight. Tonight we are not coming to discuss with Satan. We are not coming to just comfort you psychologically. We don't have time for that nonsense. Hallelujah. That every window of opportunity that is destined for you i trust that tonight god will restore men let me tell you what restoration is listen listen restoration is not advancement restoration is god taking you through time he said i will restore the years canker worm can eat the years of a man's life so a man is moving forward but in the spirit you are you are far behind you are just advancing in age celebrating but there's no accomplishment So, canker worms can eat years. Let me tell you something. But God said, I am able to restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. So that in one day, like Samson, he killed more people in one day than he did in his lifetime. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that dreams and visions tonight will arise. There are many of you that the, the kind of gift and grace that God has bestowed upon your life, for whatever reason you have allowed Satan to lie to you, but I pray. And there are many of you just like Saul. Saul left the son of Kish, went to look for his father's ass. Little did he know it was destiny calling him. Some of you are 100 level students. You do not even know that God brought you here. You thought you just came for a meeting. You watch as destiny begins to unveil in the power of his presence. For when he left, he met Samuel and Samuel anointed him. Suddenly Saul, who left as an ordinary man, stepped into a band of prophets and began to prophesy a man said is Saul also one of the prophets there is a way God can alter the life of a man that your life becomes the epistle the message you don't need to talk your life begins to demonstrate it hallelujah so don't say you don't need a miracle tonight don't say you don't need a breakthrough Tonight we are going to be shouting in the realm of the spirit. And we are going to be telling some doors and ancient gates to open up. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquities of their fathers. Hallelujah. And for those of you who came from far, let me tell you something. That, that journey alone is a sign that God must change your story tonight. Go and read your Bible. Everyone who came to Jesus from afar was healed. Not one went back disappointed. You don't know it's an act of faith to risk yourself on the road. Hallelujah. It's an act of faith. Because you see, God is everywhere. But his manifested presence... To heal and to deliver is not everywhere. That's why oftentimes he will call men to a certain place where he will meet with them. Not everywhere. Hallelujah. The Bible says, but your iniquity. You know, I began to pray and I was crying unto God. I said, Lord, why is it that in a great meeting like this, only maybe few people receive testimonies of miracles and breakthrough and then the large congregation just gets excited 
maybe they fall down they stand up they're happy they cry and that's it do you know that god's prophetic instrument for publicity is the manifestation of the kingdom in the lives of people when god truly touches you you will be too grateful to keep quiet that's how the gospel was supposed to advance hallelujah and the lord showed me one thing he said son we spend time trying to pray against demons trying to pray against many things which has its place but did you know the lord shocked me not that i didn't know it but it came with a new light that the greatest hindrance to the flow of the power of god in a man's life is sin i know many of you have had it but right now when we come for meetings we concentrate on demons correct we concentrate on um unbelief and and different things which is wonderful but i need you to know that sin listen sin in a man's life is the greatest and surest doorway to short circuit the power of god now we trivialize these things that's why we don't see the authentic power of the spirit that's why just a few people are touched do you know my prayer every time i step in and i see people there are people outside to as far as your eyes can see I don't just brag and get excited and say see the crowd i'm saying lord how many of these people will genuinely go back with a testimony because it's not fair for people to leave their homes leave different places there are probably hundreds and thousands of people streaming and following us online and it will be so unfair for people to leave their homes and come only to rejoice for a few hours and go back I said lord it's not my life that will do that kind of ministry hallelujah the sin barrier there are lots of believers that don't deal with issues in their lives that empower satan and empower demons to find expression over the life of people every time god healed people he would tell them go and sin no more less a greater sickness or a greater challenge come to you we don't address the issue of sin because we feel oh we are the righteousness of god in christ wonderful and that's true but let me tell you something you empower satan a true life of holiness and righteousness and godliness is the greatest way of resisting the devil and commanding authentic supernatural power are you listening to me We must be able to close the door. The Bible says through sin, death came. The word death near does not just mean cessation from living. It means anything that does not typify life. Through sin. Sin opened the door for sickness. Opened the door for oppression. Opened the door for every kind of satanic manipulation. Tonight friends, I love you too much to lie to you. I won't deceive you. We will take a few minutes and truly address and i said lord all this sin sin you know the whole thing god told me that uh -uh, it's not just my mess is there but there are some sins the bible says the sin that easily besets us hebrews 12 verse 1 it says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses he said let us lay aside every weight and the sin that means it's specific you know it the sin that easily besets us and then we will run with perseverance the race that is set before us are you listening to me there are many people who want to receive from god and i want you to get the best of god but let me tell you something if sin is at work in your life it will keep empowering demons because of the influence of god's power in this territory they may seem to leave you for a while but they will gather their kind and return back because if that sin issue is not addressed the bible calls it the sin that easily besets us hallelujah and the lord began to show me again hallelujah that scripture second chronicles 7 verse 14 popular scripture 
but many people do not see the life in it he said if my people so the first statement is they are my people correct if my people who are what called by my name but it does not mean they will be free automatically they are my people they are called by my name he said they shall do what humble themselves that's the first thing you need to do tonight whoever you are pride is one thing that kills people they feel they don't need a miracle they do not want to subject themselves to god laws of receiving miracles if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and then do what Turn. this is what the church does not want we want to receive miracles and return back to our life so don't talk to me about my life just heal me and let me go just pray for me let financial doors be open let me just be a millionaire let me just be blessed let me build a house let my parents buy the car wonderful let me get the job let me be promoted he said but shall turn from what their wicked ways there must be a turning god says i will be watching until you turn the strength of forgiveness is if there is repentance if there is no repentance forgiveness does not have value and turn from their wicked ways he said then will i hear from heaven he said and i will forgive their sins and do what and heal their land there are four major sins that the bible puts and that god revealed to me while praying for this meeting that easily beset men and we're going to consider them very quickly because i want us to just enjoy what god is going to do today number one number one is what the bible calls immorality hallelujah immorality is not just sex are you listening to me so don't you sit that there and say thank god i'm not part. just keep quiet and let me land immorality is not just sex hallelujah immorality a state of lust for anything that is not any the, the cravings of the flesh immorality a sin that does easily beset a lot of people that's why they see that they cannot walk in perpetual miracles you can pray you can fast you can jump but i'm telling you if you do not address the issue of immorality in your life forget about walking in authentic power you may not like the message tonight but god brought you to listen hallelujah because what we men of god do is that as soon as members come we just come and we tell people oh receive take the power of god do this no 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 you must address the life of the people so that the miraculous will be a blessing to them say amen. amen immorality we must be able to open up ourselves and flog out that issue and close doors listen did you know that the greatest expression of intimacy between a man and a woman is sex correct that's the same way when the spirit of immorality comes upon you it seeks partnership with your human spirit and will never allow you to walk in true righteousness and holiness i want you not only to be blessed tonight but to receive the authentic power of the holy spirit if you came here to hear the truth and to be blessed i'm telling you the truth the sin that don't easily beset us number two idolatry one great sin that easily besets people you know what idolatry is idolatry is not just building an image idolatry is putting your hope your trust and your confidence in any other thing above god any other thing my uncle my auntie 
my this, my that. The Bible says, Woe unto any man he that puts his strength in a man. This is the reason why many people cannot receive from God. Every time God says, I want to bless you, your mind is going to one uncle. And the truth is, you think you are trusting God. You only remember that your uncle said he will bless you. So when the prophetic word is coming, you are, see, you are already calculating. Who told you God needs your uncle to bless you? Are you listening to me? Idolatry. Can you take away every support and say, Lord, you have made a way for men in the wilderness. You have called strangers to bless people. I take my eyes. I've said it. In life and in death, I put my strength in no man aside from God. Whatever God cannot do for me, let it not be done. Wherever God cannot take me, I will not go. Are you listening to me? You must challenge yourself. Idolatry. Many people put their whole strength in a man of God. Now I know the Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. You shall be established. Believe his prophet and you shall prosper. You must also believe the vessel that God is going to use. But not to come and begin to worship a man because you are looking for miracles. Are you listening to me? There are lots of believers who are caught up in that kind of satanism. Yes, God uses vessels. God is using me right now to bless you. And shortly you'll be experiencing higher levels of his grace and anointing in this place. But I want you to know that your strength and your confidence, this is why it is always our desire to exalt Jesus Christ. We have no business trying to exalt a man. Joshua Selman, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The one who is coming to perform miracles. Let me tell you something. I have confidence and I believe God will use me to bless you. It's not pride. It's the truth. He has anointed us. Jesus said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He didn't say the spirit of the Lord is in heaven. He said it's upon me. So there is a place of confidence. But not to bring you to a point where you must worship me. Because I am the absolute custodian of the power of the spirit. That's witchcraft. It's idolatry. Hallelujah. So for those of you who came here to see the great man, Joshua Selman, you've had me on tape. This is the man. Nothing much about me. Except for the fact that I'm available for him to use me. Are you listening to me? There is only one name that should be exalted. Jesus. Not God. Jesus. God can mean anything to people. A bottle of minerals. One stone somewhere in your village. But when you say Jesus, the Bible says he's the express image of the Father. Hallelujah. So every miracle that you will see in this place is the Lord walking through willing vessels to bring miracles for people. Hallelujah. That's why we rejoice and we are confident. We won't do that false humility to lie that we are not anointed. I'm anointed. It's an election by grace. It's not pride. It's the truth. The ministers are anointed. However, we will not forget the anointed is only an usher. Christ is the one we are leading men to. So if tonight's miracle does not direct people to Jesus Christ, we ended up creating a platform of witchcraft where we become the king of kings over the lives of people. Hallelujah. Number three, very quickly. Unbelief. Unbelief. The Bible says in Hebrews, there's no time. It said they did not enter their rest because of unbelief. There, there, there are certain Christians who are so cynical. Listen to me. And many of you need to be delivered from that spirit. Hallelujah. You never believe anything that is God. Someone says, ah, I had a fractured leg. It's just fixed now. And you are just saying, hey, oh, they should allow me to come and stand and check all these stories we are doing. How are we sure 
that the person you see that cynical spirit is what the bible calls unbelief hallelujah so when people are opening themselves and receiving you're just standing there and wondering and saying wow interesting how are we sure this way how are we sure how are we sure that's just the language satanic and demonic hallelujah say i'm a believer tonight don't just watch others and say this thing let me look first if two people get healed that's when i'll be sure or my friend that i came with let's see now if you don't get blessed you can't come and beat us did we collect money from you we will enjoy the blessings of god and move whether or not you don't believe that god is at work look at the people inside and outside their joy unto God will trample your unbelief. But I know there is a God who heals, who delivers, who can change the stories of men. The fourth sin that easily besets men is what the Bible calls a lying tongue. A lying tongue. Book of Proverbs, the Bible says, Six things the Lord does hate, seven an abomination to him. The second in that list is a lying tongue. Let me tell you what a lying tongue is. A lying tongue is not just saying, Ah, Reuben is wearing kaftan, where he's wearing suit. Are you listening to me? A lying tongue is that tongue that is not consistent with the truth of God's word. That's what the Bible calls a lying tongue. It's not just negating or saying things that did not happen. So if God says you are blessed and you refuse, you are a liar because God cannot lie. You get my point now? A lying tongue. Many of us allow our tongues to profess and to speak things that are not consistent with the word of God. God says you are healed. You are there celebrating sickness. God says you are blessed. Hallelujah. And now we think it doesn't matter. But the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaking. It said, life and death are where? In the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That means you will eventually eat the fruit of whatever you are sowing. I refuse to have a lying tongue. That's why I believe he will bless people tonight. I dare not say he will not bless. We are going to pray. In the next five minutes and say lord whatever will not let me go back with a great miracle tonight take it away from my life no 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 we don't bow our heads in this place stand up on your feet we are going to pray now is not the time to sleep please rise up and pray inside and outside in one minute i like you to pray say lord i know that your hands are not too short I cried my life unto God. I said, Lord, tonight, as you bless men, do not forget me. As you change the stories of men, as you have always done, do not forget me. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, my life is free from immorality. My life is free from a lying tongue. My life is free from idolatry. Tonight, my eyes I lift that up to you. Come on, pray. He's here tonight to bless us. Shata kapalata bada da da da. I have made you too small in my eyes. Oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed. 
that you are unable to help. Who told you God cannot help you? But now, oh Lord, I see my wrong. Fill my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my heart, and with my soul. You're singing it from your heart, inside and outside. Be magnified. Be magnified. Oh Lord. Magnified, oh Lord. You are highly exalted. tell the Lord what you want him to do in your life tonight say it so that when it happens you will know he did it don't keep quiet say Lord change my story deliver my family tonight Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make. Your presence, Lord, with me, the glory of the Lord. Lord, let the heavens be open. I command the miracle angels, the angels of deliverance, across the land and bread of this building. Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. Yeah. I'm going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families. Listen, it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go. For the enemy has done this. And God has so highly exalted him. Lift your hands. As I rebuke the works of darkness, as the power of God comes upon you, let me help them in front. Thou devil of darkness, it's time to go. Let God's people go. Go, go, go. Let the power of God fall, fall. I command demons. Powers of darkness, for you cannot stand. 
in the name that is above every other name. Go. Or shall spring them. Outside. That devil. Let God's people go. Those outside. Lift your hands. The power of God sets men free. Sets men free. Sets men free. You're going to shout Jesus once, and the power of God, devils will leave. They must go tonight. They must go. Are you ready? Especially outside, the power of God will fall like rain. Shout Jesus! Jesus! Let the angels, the angels of God are moving with a sword in this place. The angels of God are moving with a sword. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 No devil can stand. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. I tell you, no devil can stand. I Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword. A mighty angel, a mighty angel, a mighty angel. Outside, a mighty angel, mighty angels, mighty angels. Mighty angels. I don't know why angels are moving outside, but the Lord shows me angels. Mighty angels. The northern army of the Lord's eye moving in power. Time of Satan. Time of over the destinies of God's people. Outside, an angel of the Lord's presence. We magnify your name. We magnify your name like fire. I see a whole roll outside. Like fire, a whole roll outside. Like fire is falling like rain. Like fire. Papa, take it, take it, take it. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. This is a place for emancipation. God's people will go free. And no devil, no power in hell will stand the fire power. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, 
who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity at the back this row at the back for you shall not stand over God's people the fire of God upon one person at the back you will not stand it it comes like rain with power upon you every devil over God's people those of you in front at the count of three I command every devil go go one two three out 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost let them go free every delay every habit every spirit out of witchcraft every enchantment my sister be free now that devil let her go free by the fire power of the Holy Ghost let her go 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 be free that devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the father bring that devil Hallelujah. For you cannot stand the light of God. This lady has been tormented. Satan, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free. The heavens are open. God's power is touching everybody, not just those in front. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. By the power of the Holy Ghost. She is free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now be free. Come out of her. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Upon you. That fire power. Upon you. That fire power. In the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Hallelujah. I see a woman. I see a woman who came with a child. A woman who came with a, a... I'm seeing a small boy. Where is the woman? Inside or outside? What's wrong with the child? His body is hot. His body is hot. Can you lose him? Can you hold him? If you are deaf, hear me inside and outside. If you are deaf, whether in one ear or both ears, if you brought someone who is deaf, put your hands in the ear that is not working. It's time for deaf people to be healed now. Or even if you are hearing, I see two people. You, you are hearing, but it's not clear because it looks like there's water. You literally feel like water is going to go now. For one of you, water will literally come out. Katapatokopaya. Deaf ears. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus death yes make sure you check yourself we'll take some testimonies bring this lady tonight is your night of deliverance Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot. And I leave him nothing. Nothing to you him. believe God will set this boy yes, free right I, now? Yes. Oh, there are miracles. Yes, Listen, there are miracles happening. Now. Once you are under the influence of his presence, God is changing lives, opening doors. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. The power of God is going through his body. That's what is making him uncomfortable. In the name of Jesus, be free now. Be free now. I command your temperature to go down. Your son is free. Take. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone came, I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came, you are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly, please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? How long has it been? Since when I was small. Bring a chair for me, please, quickly. What's wrong with you? It's paining you. How about you? Please bring three chairs quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Just turn it. No, 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 turn it. God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone, you have abnormal, what do they call it, medical students, help me. Heartbeat, irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing, she's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats, you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. Don't worry, I'm not saying she pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? God will give you a mirror from here right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that if you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it, please? Now watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right? Tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? 
Watch it. In the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at, look at, look at what is happening to this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you feel anything? Help out with the mic. What did you feel? Now try walking. Stamp it. Come. Get up and try to stamp it. Try to stamp it. Just stamp it. Try to stamp it. You still feel pains? You still feel pains? It's... No. Are you serious? Come on, celebrate a miracle. Come, come up here. Jump. Can you jump? Look at. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you, this is a simple thing. I'm telling you, don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself because that's what a lot of people do. You like this is not chambori. You disgrace yourself somewhere, someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we'll save time, they'll pray for you. Hallelujah. This is what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? Like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been walking with this. Yes, sir. You can't walk except you use it. Yes, sir. Look at me, my brother. I bring you life right now. Amen. I, look at me. Look at me. In the name that is above all names, I command a fractured leg to go. Amen. Let it join right now. See. Look at what is happening to him. Look at what is happening to him. This is the power of the Holy Ghost. This is the power of the Holy Ghost going through the leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Can you walk? Look at me. Just start walking. Follow me. Look at this. Look at this. He came with crutches. Jump. Can you jump? Any pain? Fracture. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. Just got healed right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. A fractured leg. Hallelujah. If you're blind in one eye, what happened to you, sir? There was a friend who knows him. Who came here with him? Oh, you know him. He's a popular person. Is it true that he has been working with this crutch? Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. I think we should give God some praise. Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Hold on, hold on. Another miracle here. Another miracle here. Let's have the mic. Pastor Jake just prayed for him. What happened to you, sir? Make sure you don't tell lies. So, hallelujah. Actually, I, I had an accident. Listen, okay. The leg was paining me. The leg was paining you. Exactly. So, okay. When the man of God, uh, when Pastor Jake prayed for you, it got perfect. It, it became perfect. Yes. Come up, come up, come up. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Jump up. Look at this. Look at this. Yahweh. Yahweh. If your blood group is SS or AS, now is the time for it to change forever. Listen, I'm serious, I'm serious. Please make sure you believe we are not joking here. Outside, I see that there is a mighty miracle that God will soon do outside. AS. Hallelujah. You can connect for any member of your family. Anyone in this place, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we command AS and SS to change now to AA in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
I sense someone has been healed in the ear. Someone has been healed in the ear. Please check. You came here with ear problem. Someone has been healed in the ear. The Lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear. Hallelujah. Sorry? My uncle has been treated for the past. Three Your years. uncle? Okay, hold on. I'm a footballer. My uncle has a twist. So every time. Your uncle has twisted. Yeah, How long? Time, three years now. Anytime okay. I'm running, the uncle will be making sound. Just remove your shoe. Let me make contact with it. What's wrong with you, sir? Irregular heartbeat. Eh? Irregular heartbeat. Oh, the irregular heartbeat. Watch it leave you now. It's a devil. Go! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Check yourself. Breathe. In and out. Test yourself. Could you do this before? Breathe in. Could you do this before? Look at this. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please, ushers, hold him. Let me just make contact with your feet. Hallelujah. Or oh, Bishop Stan, just pray with him. He will pray with you. Check yourself. You will be healed. Hallelujah. So we can concentrate. I, I used to have, I play hockey. I'm a sport. Okay, listen to this testimony. I play hockey. I'm a sportsman and over the years, I've been having this muzzle pool. Muzzle pool, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. And right now, there's no... Right now, he's healed. Power of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pain in the right hand. There's someone, I'm seeing pain here. Very severe pain. You even cry. Who is that person? It's time for you to rejoice. Pain. Severe pain is like a shock in your right hand. Who is that person? Pain. No, no, no. Check yourself, please. Check yourself and if act on it. Come on, watch this. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Watch a miracle happen. Could you do this before? Stamp it. Stamp it. Pastor Stanley just prayed for him. Hallelujah. The Lord perfect you in the name of Jesus Christ. How many of you are celebrating what God is doing in this place? The hand. The Lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand. Please, when we call your case, just run out quickly. You are the one? Good evening. Thank you. Where is the pain in your right hand? How long has it been? Up to five years. Now. Up to five years. What's wrong with it? What happened? I don't know. Just like that. Whenever I stretch it, I feel pain. Anymore. Can you turn it round, up and down? Hold on. Can you do that before? Yes, no. But you, you feel pain. Yes. All right. Watch what will happen to you right now. You believe that? <laughs> it is such fun to see. Such fun to see. Say can lose. Hallelujah. Look at me. I come in a name that is above every other name. And we challenge this devil. It goes. Look at me. I want you to wind it as fast as you can. Go ahead. Don't think about it. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at me. Sister, what happened to you? Could you do this before? Could you do this before? In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Ghost. What's wrong with her? What is this? I don't know. All right, I'm going to pray for you. Does it pain you? Yes. Does it pain you? Yes. The pain will stop. He is able more than me. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns me. devil of darkness be gone in the name of Jesus check yourself check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah hallelujah now bring this lady just bring her
for God wants to use you and make a mighty woman of faith I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched but she matched something that is demonic that's what is happening to her Jesus do this for your glory do this for your glory I set you free 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free I declare you free right now Shalom Located your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that he led brought a sick person you are a guest please come and line up quickly you brought a sick person you brought a sick person please just pick up God is doing some you brought a sick person now is the time please come out let's save time you brought a sick person outside you brought an invited guest who is sick please come quickly bring them to the front What's wrong with you? Please, technical help us. Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pains in my chest. Pains. I feel pains. You believe in Jesus Christ. You believe he'll set you free. Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest, one of the washers. is a demonic oppression you will rise up totally fine come come you're welcome come what's wrong with you madam schizophrenia what schizophrenia mental schizophrenia we, i think we should employ some medical people who is studying you are a serious medical student or you are a doctor eh no we have doctors sir please come quickly quickly appreciate him Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. What is schizophrenia, sir? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric condition. Okay. That is characterized by hallucinations. You hear voices. You begin to see things that don't exist ah oh so it's like madness yes. like a psychosomatic condition you'll be free right now look at me my dear you believe that because devils he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor to bind up the broken hearted to set the captives free huh my dear hold my hands hold my hands can you look at me? Can you shout Jesus? Shout it as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil of schizophrenia. Go. In the name of Jesus. Who, who brought her? What happens to her? Okay. 
Okay. It's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? It's going to leave her forever. All right? She sees things that are not there. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. In the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes, sir. That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. Do it one more time. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Now run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally free. Totally free. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sir, just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. You just minister. We have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? There's this a headache I've been having headache. over a year now, yes. And it keeps me in presence. Go! In the name of Jesus. Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Five. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus. Be totally hope. In the name of Jesus. They pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. Alright, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Heaven. Heaven. You are sick in your body, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Don't go back with your sickness. Those in the congregation be connected. Some of you will be receiving the healing anointing. In the name of Jesus. Go by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus.
we are praying will soon be done. I like everyone inside and outside. If you know anybody in your family, listen, who is not feeling fine, or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying, whether it's HIV or cancer, I like you to be connecting. Are you listening? The worshippers are they, they are worshiping. It's not just for the formality of it. They are creating an atmosphere. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? So I want you to connect. Are you listening to me? I want you to connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah. Please. 
Can you see? Touch this. Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. of i know there are many people just go back to your seat but all of you who came out the five of you all of you come and hold your hands together all of you hold your hands together five of you but i'm going to pray for everybody look at me the power of god will touch you i sense a strong anointing are you listening to me a strong anointing lord let it move across right now in the name of the lord jesus Randa cross to croto bashigeteba. Randa pros restoration for your family. Great restoration in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. Kataba kataba. No, no, no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith. Because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates. Bring this lady. Ah. I see a lot of demonic things. Bakatata. Come out of this family now. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of bondage. Batatata Lift your hands, everybody. 
Masha Papa. Manta Tapakata. Projects that are not completed by your family members. That hey! devil of delay <laughs> is a spirit. Hear me. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot. At the count of three, the power of God as he's hitting you is touching your family members. One, two, three, like red oh God. Like red oh God. So Papa Takata. Every spirit of delay. Go. 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 I command God to be open. Break through in the name of the spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Let the doors of destiny be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you are a student here, yeah, I'd like you to shout amen. amen. You will know why you are shouting amen now. Because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues, that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him. And he was ten times suddenly his, his intelligent creation, his, his capacity. Listen, friends, I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploit in your academics. Listen, and if you are in 100 level, happy are you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold on, leave her. Don't touch her. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. A contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the spirit. Stop that lady. Just stop her. Come. All of them, no, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your, by himself. He will pick you from your seat. No matter how far you are, he will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them, leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, leave that girl. She will come out by them by herself. If it's the Holy Ghost, he will bring her to the front. You will come out by the Holy Ghost to the front by yourself. It's the compelling power of the Holy Ghost and the castle in the spirit of God. the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. Now 
God will do a thorough work. I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now. In the name of Jesus be free say you have supernatural exploits I set you free now. Sister, I set you free. Because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit. And I hear what she's saying. The Lord is setting your family free. In the name that is above all names. For after the count of five, victory will be established. That's what the Lord tells me. One, two, Three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. For God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi's sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming. You just go and tell him. Are you listening to me? And for you, look at me. This is an evil spirit. Now, be free. Now. Now. This is an evil spirit. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you listening to me? Your family, can me come. Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere in Nigeria, in UK, or Canada. God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. Lord, let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now, Kemi, for you, look at me. Is a restorative breakthrough God is bringing. What you are entering now, you would have, you are supposed to have entered it since, but the Lord is restoring to you in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power and the influence of the Spirit. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? The guy that came. Come. at me. There are three breakthroughs God is giving you. Do you understand? One, I will not talk about it, but you know what I'm talking about. The second is in the area of your business and that restoration is going to come through wisdom and knowledge. Are you listening to me? Wisdom and knowledge. But look at me. God wants your heart like never before. Do you understand? Business books can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Your 
give him an impartation, oh God. Let him know he met the King of Kings. Strong impartation. In the name of Jesus. I command freedom for you. I command breakthrough for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come. You came from a university campus. Not Zaria. Where are you? You came from a university camp. Not Ebi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus. Not Ebi U. Who is that person? Please. Please come my brother. Come quickly. Come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart. Like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But you don't worry. Is that true? Sir, what did you expect? To prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many. Please, technical help us. So, uh, I've been looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life Look is. Look at going... me, my brother. You, are, you just started ministry or something like that. Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will begin to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer, let it fall on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the gentleman? Come. From where? Foot Mina. Mina again. How many of you know that God is doing something in me now? Hold my hands, my brother. You came, you will catch a fire. Look at me, look at me. You came with, an hung with a hunger. God will not leave you. Just lift one hand up. You will feel literal fire coming upon this hand. And it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. That strong fire upon you. It flows from your hand from your hand to every part of your body and look at me there is the spirit of leadership upon you you are going back with a strong spirit of leadership are you listening to me i'm hearing the name rebecca sorry we're out of time we'll round up now rebecca rebecca who is rebecca rebecca A student no where are you i'm in secondary school you're in secondary school yes, sir. will you be available if god uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school yes sir. what school is that jama secondary school jama secondary school hold my hands both of your hands say after me jesus i'm available like Catherine Kuhlman. Let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? Maybe you. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. See, it's like fire in your tummy. It's that of the spirit. You will never recover from it. Never. Never. In the name of Jesus. Foot me now. 
Okay, why did you delay? We have to hurry up. Please, did you bring your prayer request? All right, quickly. Quickly, your prayer request outside. Make sure your prayer request. If you are outside, please write it quickly and pass it. Just stay where you are. to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you foot in uh, but you need to dedicate time for God uh, you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the word there's no other way to grow hmm? does it make sense to you what I'm saying but you came because you trust God to put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in him. In the name of Jesus. That you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer requests, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly. Outside, even if you are just coming. Wherever you are, please get a paper. Help one another with papers, please. Hallelujah. Please, quick, 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 quick. You should have written this before now, but write it quickly. Please. Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. 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 Many of you don't know the value of an open door. close to Jessica. Come. Yes, you. Come. My dear, you standing. You believe God can use you in a mighty way. You want him to use you. Lift your hands where you are. Lord, release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used. The Lord is showing me visions. I see two eyes being put upon you eyes being put upon you Lord I pray that she will begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today in the name of Jesus my dear God wants you you believe that and he wants you this is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you they don't even know where they are going focus on Jesus Christ are you listening to me you need him first ladies what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus if you know how to love and relate with Jesus a man will become an asset to your life are you listening to me hold on we'll soon pray that prayer that special prayer to send away some people out of your life and bring the people God has destined do you like that kind of prayer but you must be willing and obedient sister look at me you want me to pray that God will anoint you you want to pray good friends, an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory, but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. Jesus, please do something in her life, I pray. Please, give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Steve Strings, please, can you come up and sing There is none like you, your guitar. Hallelujah. While you bring the prayer request, Steve Strings will sing There is none like you. I just sense that that's what we need. Do we have the prayer request, please, quickly? Quickly. If, let's, let's have it, please. Pour it here quickly, quickly. All right, there's this. If you've not written, just write. We'll give you one minute quickly. This is not a ritual. God answers prayers. I'm telling you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search to all eternity, Lord, and find there is none. There's none like Jesus. There is none like you. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it. Please, everybody, stand up. Jesus is calling many people tonight. Listen to me. Many of you have heard me preach, you've seen the miracles. There are many of you standing outside and the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. For many of you, you have been running away from God. Or you have been born again, but it's one leg inside, one leg outside. No one condemns you, but Jesus is calling you today. You came with your friend. But I like you, don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. There are many ways. He said, I am the truth. Hallelujah. I'm going to count one to ten. I like you to leave your seat and run out. At that count of, don't be ashamed. The Lord is talking to you. Many of you from the time I began to preach, you have come to the end of the road. As I count, as I begin to count one to ten, I like you to run and come out. One, two, leave your seat and run inside and outside. Three, four, run out. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Five, outside. God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Run out and come. Us shall help them. Us shall help them. Six. Leave your seat. Forget about your friend. No other name. Forget about whoever you came with. Like the name. We are waiting for you. Seven. The name. Come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Don't let your brother make you sit back there. There is a better life. There is a higher life. There is a greater life in Christ Jesus. Better than what you have experienced. In eternity and, and in this way, way. No one Seven. No one Jesus is still calling. Jesus. Jesus is still calling. No other name. Eight. Like the name. We have two more counts. Outside. Jesus is still speaking to a few people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Leave your friend. Leave your relatives. Go on and come here. We are waiting for the last person. We are waiting for the last person. Like the name of Jesus. Ten. Hallelujah. Just say, dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you, please help me, forgive me for my sins, make me a new creature, wash me with your blood, make me clean, I receive salvation in the name of Jesus, from today, I receive power to live a holy life, 
in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. Blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that has held them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on, just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you'll begin... Every time we get people born again, the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings, once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you march straight to prayer band for one month. Hallelujah. You pray for one month. After that time, you'll be strong enough. We want our fruits to abide. Hallelujah. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Whatever has held you down, it leaves you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be a new life for you. Please get up and follow the ushers. Please celebrate this harvest. Just follow the ushers. Don't worry, you will come back. Follow the ushers quickly. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, please look up. We, we don't have time. Pastor Jakes is going to speak just in a few seconds and release upon us the spirit of soul winning. Are you listening to me? Everyone must become a soul winner. Hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. Because God is going to be giving some of us a new heart. It starts with your heart, a compassionate heart. If you are willing and ready for this, the Lord will visit you with it. Some of you will literally feel like fire on your feet. That's what I'm sensing right now. A fire will come upon some of you, your feet. Thank you, blessed Lord. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Up your hands. Lift up your hands as we pray. Blessed Father, Abba Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I ask that God, you release from heaven. You release a fire from heaven, Lord. You release a fire upon your people from heaven. I ask in the name of Jesus, let there be a visitation. Let the presence of God come upon you. Let the fire of God come upon you. A passion for souls. In the name of Jesus, let fresh fire, let fresh fire be released upon your heart. Your heart begins to burn for souls and pants for it. You will not find rest. You will not find rest. In the name of Jesus, 
your tongue, the fire of God comes upon your tongue in the name of Jesus Christ. The fire of God comes upon your feet. The Holy Spirit will lead you to, to speak the word, to speak the gospel, the angels of salvation. Lord, we pray that you release in the name of Jesus the four corners of this place. Let them be released. Let the oil and the mantle of evangelism be released. We pray. Lord, I pray that you grant your people vision for souls, a hunger for souls, for souls. Jesus! 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 Aprendo siba, rieto mianta, intush limante, risu minta, mionte, itapila, suminante, Lord, I pray that God this fire will burn continually. We pray to burn continually, Lord. We pray in their hearts. Our hearts will be on fire. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of evangelism. That's the spirit of evangelism. Now Bishop is going to pray. I pray this will fall strong on people. The spirit of prayer. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Lord, the spirit of grace and supplication rest in the house. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Spirit and the coal of the altar of the Lord rest upon your heart. Let your heart will yearn for His presence. Let the Lord be faithful for your family. Well, I will come to the God and take the burden to the Lord. Well, I will come. Any prayer request here, I'd like you to know it will be answered. Lord, we pray. Stretch your hands and say, Lord, go ahead and let's pray. Lord, do mighty things, solve problems, bring impossible miracles. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus as we make contact with these requests in the name of the Lord Jesus prophetically wipe the tears of many in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Rakata prokoto prokoto balaba. Rakata prakata 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 balaba. Rakata prakata 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 balaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Every prayer point here, let it be met. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release supernatural miracles for the sake of Your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands. I want to prophesy. This is the final thing I will go. Please, if you came here, now is the time for you to receive something. Please, don't go back the same. Hallelujah. Listen. See, the apostolic anointing is not just talk. Are you listening to me? The apostolic anointing is an office. Are you, are you listening to me? It's an office. It's not just apostle. This, no, 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 no. It's an office. No man walks. The Bible says he gave unto some apostles. It's a position of authority. Are you listening to me? It's an office that is recognized in the spirit. It's, an elect, it's not an issue of prayer and fasting. It's an office. God gives us this office to open up doors for others. It's an election by grace. And if you believe it tonight, you will step into a level of blessing. Lift your hands. Lord, if I be a servant of God, truly called into this apostolic office, my God, confirm this anointing upon me. Once again, I invoke the anointing that was given upon me when Jesus appeared to me. My God and my King, let there be a performance. Ta 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 ya ta. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. I challenge thrones. I challenge dominions. I challenge offices. I stand in the anointing of this office. I compel every closed door over your life, over your academics, delay in marriage. I release you. I call your partner to come to you in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that the favor of God for he has granted unto me by grace my God and my King. I see it like water flowing from the ground. Let the favor of God sweep. Let it sweep across this congregation. Outside, I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. If you can hear my voice, receive favor. Receive favor. In your academic favor. In your financial favor. In your relationship favor. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy speed upon your life and that of your family members. In the name of Jesus. Before the next miracle service, I prophesy, run with the spirit of Elijah. Supernatural accomplishment, exploit by the power of the Holy Ghost. Exploit, exploit, exploit. Hallelujah. I pray for every project, whether in your life or your family, building project, capital project, businesses, in the name of Jesus, God of heaven, the one who is at work in this place, I invoke by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be grace for completion. Receive it. Receive it. Outside, receive it. Outside, receive it. I pray for your academics. 
in the name that is above all names i want to release it upon you and if you will believe i release five points in the name of jesus i release it i release it i release first class in the name of the lord jesus supernatural intelligence every dull mind i command you be productive be intelligent every course you cannot understand go back and challenge it now in the name of the lord hallelujah i pray against habit masturbation pornography whatever it is if it's a habit that is not of god this moment you have prayed you have fasted you have done everything you know to do but i come under the anointing in this office i command be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray all those who are trusting god for life partners and for marriage listen please if you are not trusting god you better put your hand we are not playing here we are very very serious if you are trusting god for i don't mean people coming around first and foremost any guy roaming around your life just to mess up your life i pray that tonight god will open your eyes in the name of jesus may god expose destiny destroyers this night may god connect you with the will of god for your life i command supernatural marriages for you and your loved ones in the name of jesus i command any kind of terminal disease and i see this the lord is showing me ladies many diseases infection whatever it is i cause it now to its root in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah i pray for your finances my god and my king if your word is true between now and the next miracle service if it is the god of heaven we serve you will receive a call if it is a god if it is god that we serve may you receive a call that will shock you i prophesy it i program your spirit to receive it in the name of jesus i hear a call is a call is a call that's what god told me it's a supernatural call receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah many of you who have been confused about your life especially men receive grace to sit down and be established in the name of jesus no more confusion the reason why you were born listen to me the reason why you were born between now and the next two weeks everyone here who does not know you are just roaming around the surface of the earth escorting men if god be god may the reason why you were born be revealed to you in dreams in visions by prophetic encounters by the revelation of the word in the name of jesus hallelujah finally i pray for you lift your hands there are certain anointings that god has put upon this house are you listening to me number one the presence of god i don't idolize this but it's true number two the favor of god the wisdom of god financial prosperity are you listening to me and such as we have my god and my king may it be released upon you now favor wisdom the presence of god the power of god the miraculous i activate the gift of the spirit now all across the building the gift of the spirit receive it gift of healing faith prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues i activate your spirit man visions visions i call for fivefold ministry fivefold offices 
Let the apostolic arise. Let the prophetic arise. Let the evangelistic arise. Let the pastoral arise. Let teaching graces arise. Ba ta 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 ta. Ra ba 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 ba. Boko topotia. Upon ladies, strange order of the prophetic. Strange order of the prophetic. Strange order. Strange order. Grace to see. Grace to hear. Grace to move in power. Lord, you have been faithful. The psalmist said, if the Lord had not been on my side, now may Israel sing. That if the Lord had not been by my side, Lord, we thank you for your deliverance, for your grace, for your faithfulness, for your mercies. Bless him for his faithfulness. Lord, we give you all the praise. Tonight we express our gratitude for your faithfulness, for your bountiful blessings, for the miracles, for the signs, for the wonders, for the power of your word. We give you praise. Come on, bless him in the spirit. Raka pariye ke te bade ke te bala boko sopre ke te bala de osa. Rata paka pariye ke te bala raba. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he who comes. In the name of our God, oh, holy, holy, blessed is He who comes in the name of Hosanna, 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 yeah, Hosanna, Hosanna, yeah. Hosanna, 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 eh, eh, eh. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes. For thou art worthy, O God, to open the book and unlock the scrolls. For thou wast slain, and with your blood you have purchased men out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. And you have made us a people. We bless the one who was dead and now is alive and holds the keys Lord we give you praise hallelujah every time we appear before his presence it is important that we cultivate the attitude of worship and of expressing our gratitude Sammy said if the Lord has not been on our side, now may Israel say, Hallelujah. God has been faithful in the midst of all the chaos and the deaths and the lamentations around. He has preserved us. Believers must learn that it is an act of worship to give thanks. Bible says in Psalm 100, it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. He said, come before him with singing. Hallelujah. It's important that we open up our hearts and express our gratitude. Let me tell you something. 
every time you cease to see the relevance of God in your life, all he does is to take a step out of your life and you will see the chaos that your life will become without him. Hallelujah. I am ever conscious of his presence. I realize that he designed us to be inadequate without him. And forever we are eternally grateful. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Please take on your Bibles. First and foremost, just walk to two or three people. Appreciate them. Walk up to two or three people. Just bless them. Give them a good hug. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Father, we give you praise. Romans chapter 8. Tonight the Lord is going to be provoking us. Hallelujah. The Bible says provoke one another to godliness. God is going to be challenging us. Our goal in this place is to build us, to equip ourselves, hallelujah, to prepare the army of the Lord, the generals who will take charge. We are raising a takeover generation, a generation of men and women who understand their king, understand his ways, and understand his power. Hallelujah. Bible says saviors shall come out of Zion and that they shall judge the mount of Esau God is depending on us and upon our generation Bible says in Romans chapter 8 from verse 18 it says I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not compared it's not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us verse 19 says for the earnest expectation of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God some version says that creation is waiting for the day and the time when God will reveal who his sons truly are hallelujah Bible says behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God he said now are we the sons and it doth not yet appear what we shall be like hallelujah and so tonight god is going to challenge us it is our desire that we come to a point where we truly understand god's ways and his life and his power and his grace for it is out of the abundance of this revelation that we'll be able to rule and to reign hallelujah romans chapter 8 Lord, let your word come with fire in our spirits. Let your word challenge us and equip us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Please bring out your Bibles, your writing materials. Verse 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. But ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba Father. It says, The Spirit himself beareth witness with our spirits that we are the children of God. Verse 17, let's read together. One to read. The A part is my point of emphasis tonight. It says, And if children then heirs he says heirs of god and joint heirs with christ tonight i want to give us a revelation of what it means to be a joint heir with christ hallelujah for many believers the concept of being one the concept of our oneness with christ i hope you realize that the whole goal of eternal life and the coming of the spirit in our life is first and foremost to bring us into oneness hallelujah the church is called the bride of christ 
And according to the book of Genesis, when God was speaking, instituting marriage, he told Adam, he says, wherefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall become what? One flesh. They too coming from different locations. In this holy matrimony, they become one flesh. And now the Bible is saying that the Holy Spirit comes to live in us as a testimony that God has agreed to bring us into oneness. And the Bible says, if this statement is true, then it means, it tells us from verse 17, it says, and if children, in other words, if God didn't lie, if it is true that God is saying that he has brought us into oneness, then it means that we are heirs. Hallelujah. It says, heirs of God and joint heirs. Joint heirs with Christ. I pray that your eyes will be open tonight to understand the power and the revelation behind not only being one with Christ, but being a joint heir with Christ. Hallelujah. The book of Esther, don't turn there. It's a prophetic book that reveals to us the power and the transition of the church of Christ. Coming into that point where we sit with the king. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us to understand that we were alienated from the commonwealth of Israel. This is the prophetic type of Esther, Hadassah. The Bible says she was cut off from the people. She was a slave girl in the countryside. Then the Bible says how that when King Ahasuerus banished Vashti as queen, the Bible says certain people were called. And Esther from nowhere came into a point where she was given the royal crown the signet ring instantly she came into honor and the bible says that she was made to sit with the king hallelujah and at that point she had power and authority you need to realize the implication of what it means to be a christian for many of us being a christian it's just I know that we have taught about vision and purpose and all of these things. But it is important for us to understand the supernatural dimension and the implication of being a Christian. Hallelujah. Being a Christian is not just one of the many religions we have on the earth. The implication of being a Christian is first and foremost that you have come into oneness say after me oneness oneness when you come into oneness the bible says in genesis chapter 11 talking about nimrod and the tower of babel it says that god looked down and saw that the people although there were many he said the people is one he didn't say are one it may be grammatically wrong but it's spiritually correct he said the people he saw that they were one Hallelujah. Therein lies the revelation of the victory and the authority of the believer. That you realize that when you come into Christ, there is a literal translation. First and foremost, from the kingdom of darkness, the Bible says, into the kingdom of God's dear son. And then he calls the Holy Spirit the spirit of adoption. The one who is able to call different sons. What does it mean to adopt? To adopt means to pick someone who was not originally yours by hallelujah and bring the person to a point where he becomes a literal benefactor of your benevolence or whatever you have to a point that you can say this is an adopted child you give the child the exact same benefit the bible calls the holy spirit the spirit of adoption the one who is able to adopt the saint and bring him into that point where you are qualified by his grace and by the righteousness of Christ to be an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. Hallelujah. I've always given this example, but then let me use it again. Please, someone from come. Hallelujah. Now, all of you watch this. Assuming I own a company. Are you listening to me? I want to show you the revelation of oneness. 
and what it means for us to come into oneness and to be joined heirs with Christ. Assuming I own a company and let's assume that Tosin is a cleaner in that company. Are you following me now? Is a cleaner just sweeping everywhere. And I decide to get married to her. Watch this. The moment are you listening to me? The exact moment the pronunciation is made by the pastor that I hereby declare you husband and wife. Listen. The implication is that in the realm of the spirit, God ceases to see two of us as two people. We become joined. Are you listening to me? In theology, we call it the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery of two people, two separate entities becoming one. This is why the church is called the bride that comes into oneness with Christ. The church is the Eve of Adam. Are you listening to me? Just like, follow me please. In the book of Genesis, the Bible makes us to understand that Adam came into the scene and Eve was there. Are you following me now? The gold, the authority, everything was vested upon Adam. But the Bible makes us to understand that when Satan wanted to get that authority from Adam, he came through Eve. Are you following me now? Eve was the pride and the glory of Adam because she was cut out from him. Hallelujah. And the Bible makes us to understand in the New Testament that Christ has now become that second Adam. Are you listening to me? Now the Eve that belongs to that Adam is no longer a singular person. is a body. The bride of Christ. We have now become the Eve of this second Adam. Are you following me now? So that we are supposed to be joined the exact same way Adam was joined to Eve. And so you see, Satan is using the same strategy in Genesis. Wanting to get Adam, he came through Eve. This is why Satan is haunting the church, who is the bride, the Eve of this Adam. Hallelujah. But then it is important for us to understand the implication of being the bride of Christ. Instantly, Tosin becomes a partaker of everything I own. She begins to bear my name. Are you following me now? Now, watch this. Whether you like her or not is not the issue. There is a present day reality. Are you listening to me? She can tell the driver, please take me somewhere. And the driver will say, you, you, Tosin. And somebody will say, stop calling her Tosin. She's no longer Tosin. Now, watch this. If Tosin does not know that revelation, and there is a bully who has been troubling her before the marriage. Are you listening to me? The bully can look at her and say, if you like, become August's wife. That's your cup of tea. You are going to sweep this place. What happens? Although it is a present, I have never denied that she's my wife. But she will keep sweeping as though we are not married. Are you listening to me? She will keep sweeping and her words will not have power. Because she has not understood the implication of being my wife. Are you following me now? If for some reason I get to find out and she suddenly comes into that revelation that come, I have the right and the power to suck you out of this company and to bring you. And if you reject and do not stand by my words, the one who made me his wife, it will now be his responsibility to prove whether he lied by telling me I'm his wife or not. So the defense is not your job. Are you listening to me? The defense for it has God designed a man to protect a woman. Is that correct? A man is supposed to defend. So if the woman speaks on behalf of the man and anyone that contends with that statement, the man is supposed to come in. This is how God designed. And so if she talks to that man and says, do not harass me. Listen, the fact that I'm married to her does not change the bully automatically. He will keep being a bully. He will test her understanding of the implication of what it means to come into this new position. Now, she's used to sweeping. She's not used to somebody driving her in a jeep. Are you listening to me? And calling her good morning, ma. So, sometimes her mindset can make her so humble. She'll say, let me just take this broom and help you. But whether or not she chooses that, that is not the present reality according to the agreement. Now, when she comes into an understanding, one day she will take the marriage certificate and come and summon all the workers. 
and say by the terms that are in this certificate that I'm showing you, it has been written here. Can you see my name signed here? Are you following me now? And the moment she's speaking, I will come and stand by her side and said, I hope you are hearing. From that moment, listen, from that moment, it has not only been that. Now watch this, two scenes here. Number one, it is true that I'm married to her, but she's still suffering. Are you following me now? She's still suffering. Does that change the fact that I'm faithful? Are you listening to me? Marriage is the best description of our oneness and the implication of what it means to be joint heirs. Joint heirs. Are you following me now? Now, the difference between a co-heir and a joint heir is this. Let me have another person. Yes, please. If the music director is my business associate, we are not joint heirs. Are you following me now? We are called co-heirs. Because if we need capital to start a project, hallelujah, assuming we need 1 million naira, I can bring 600,000 and he brings how much? 400,000. Are you following me now? Our profit is shared according to our contribution. Are you following me now? That means the day he decides to get angry, we are in trouble. Are you following me now? So, but in this case, she didn't do anything. She only told me yes. Are you following me now? And everything I have instantly belongs to her. There is a difference between being a joint heir and a co-heir. There are many believers that are trying to be co-heirs with God. The Bible never calls us co-heirs with Christ. Don't be so spiritual that you argue the reality of what is in the word of God. It was inspired by the spirit. A joint heir is number one. One who has come into oneness. Oneness with Christ. Oneness with Christ. That means you possess his life. The life of God is in you. Are you listening to me? You must understand the power and the implication of having what we call eternal life. Eternal life is not the life you will have when you get to heaven. No, that's not eternal life. Eternal life is God's life supplanting your biological life literally so that you begin to exist with another dimension of life. It's a supernatural life higher than all the limits in this realm. Either God is lying or you believe it. The implication of being one with Christ is first and foremost that we are partakers of his divine nature not partakers of his nature there is a reason why the bible says that nature is divine partakers of his divine nature hallelujah that means we are connected watch this we are connected every time christ is honored if it is true that we are one the church must be honored that's why every time you praise God, you also receive a portion of that blessing. Every time you truly praise and worship God and nothing happens to you, then it, it means God has lied. You see the power of praise and worship. Because whatever is happening to him must also happen to you. This is the implication of being one. The, the Israelites understood this. He said, touch them not, they are the apple of my eyes. Hallelujah. Do you realize the implication of being one with Christ? Watch this. I am one with Tosin. When we go to the market, we are going together. Are you listening to me? Every time anybody wants to speak evil against me, hallelujah, assuming I am somewhere and she's not there, if I hear you talking about her, what, what do you expect me to do? Just smile and say, wow, you are a very smart person. I live to promote her interest in her own realm whenever she hears you saying anything about me because we are one are you following me now the concept of oneness does not mean you are in the same location necessarily that you have been joined in life in purpose in vision are you listening to me her pain becomes my pain her joy becomes my joy her vision becomes my vision do you understand the implication of being a joint heir 
with Christ. Hallelujah. That means if Jesus is righteous, I am righteous. Oh yes, whether I feel like it or not, it, either God is lying, it's a present day reality. Accept it. This is the truth in Christ. So every time I stand before principalities and powers, the first revelation in the realm of the spirit is the one to find out whether you are in Christ or not. Outside of Christ, you do not have a platform to do anything. Are you listening to me? The basis for everything in the spirit is that you are in Christ. In Christ. Outside of Christ, you do not have a say. You do not have a platform. So in Christ, when I speak to a sick body and I command that cancer to leave, what they are saying, I'm speaking on behalf of the authority and the government of heaven. Are you listening to me? If the person does not get healed, are you listening to me? It's left for the one I'm representing to validate his reputation because it's at stake there. Yeah. Are you listening to me? And so the Bible says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it says, I fear no evil. Why? For thou, who is the thou? Thou art with me. It says, if it is true that we are children, that we have been adopted, called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation then we are heirs of god and joint heirs with christ partakers of his divine life partakers of his divine life what is the life of god what is it what is the divine life of god let me tell you what the divine life of god is the divine life of god is everything that makes him god everything every attribute that can be found because Christ is the express image of God. So whatever, Christ came to give us a sample of everything that can be found in the Father. Hallelujah. And so Christ is the expression. The Bible calls him the express image of the Father. What does that mean? That means that if it is true that the life of God is in us, then Christ becomes our standard. That everything that flowed through Christ, his glory, his power, his grace should find expression in us. Sons of adoption. So if I speak in the realm of the spirit and my words have no implication, then it means my oneness has a problem in the realm of the spirit. It means it has not been established and it has not been recognized. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now watch this. Before we got married, she had her ideologies and her limitations. Watch this. When we get married and I'm the man and she's the woman, who submits to who? What does it mean to submit? To bring your strength and your value system and everything to conformity. Are you listening to me? That, that becomes the basis because although I am married to her, she can choose to take her mindset of being a sweeper. It doesn't change the fact that I'm her husband, but she's going to suffer the consequence. And by implication, it's going to affect me. Do you understand? So the Bible says, this is God's present day reality. Now come into alignment. That's what we call the renewing of the mind. Coming into alignment with God's perspective about you and God's reality about you. Let me tell you what God has to say about his bride. Hebrews chapter 2. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hebrews chapter 2. Verse 5. Are you there? God's purpose. Hmm. I want to show you what it means. To be a joint heir with Christ. We are examining the implications 
of being joined heirs with Christ. For unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come of which we speak. Verse 6. But one in a certain place talking about David in Psalms 8 testifying saying what is man that thou art mindful of him or the son of man that thou visitest him. 7. It says thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor. And did set him over what? Read it. Read it. It's in your Bible. And you set him where? Is it in your Bible? Did he say the man grew there? He said God set him. That is an appointment. God set him and said come. I set you over everything I have created. Tapo satabariakata. He said, God set him over the works of his hand. God says, the jurisdiction of your rulership is everything that came from my hand. So long as I am the one who created it, both in the realm of the spirit and in this realm, I bring, I pray. get what I'm preaching. Are you getting me tonight? You must get this as a revelation. So what did God create? Start naming them. One to go. Name them. You are laughing. What did God create? Because the Bible tells us that he put all of those things in subjection to man. The atmosphere. The animals. Weather. Territories. Land. The resources in the deep. He said God has placed man. He brought all of these things in subjection to man. That is the reward you get for being the bride of the owner of the whole world. Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. Now you have become his bride. And he says, look, I put all things under your subjection. I put all things. You people name everything God created. You didn't name them all. Satan. Demons. The fallen angels. He said, I put them in subjection. Principalities. Spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. I put them in submission. Let's read on. Now watch this. It says, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He did what? He said he left. Come on, read it. It's in your Bible. That means God didn't make any mistake. That later you say, ah, I forgot to put Satan under your feet. No. He said God was thorough. He made no mistake. He put all things. All things. God is not scratching his head saying, what kind of costly mistake did I make? The bride. The bride. The eve of this second Adam. Do you realize that even when it comes to calling Jesus back to the earth, it is the spirit and the bride that says come. The spirit alongside with the bride call their husband and say come the spirit and the bride say come I give you the highest oh I'm not ordinary I'm not ordinary I give you the loudest I lift my holy hands. I express to the King. I give you, I give you, help me. I give you the highest praise. I give you 
Lord, we give you praise for what you have done for us. Give you the highest. Listen. Listen. I give Listen. you. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Watch this. I need to deliver us from a Christianity that allows every and anything to happen around us. The Bible says God has brought I I use this lady to give you something. That means see Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it says this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. He said, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein. Hear this. He says, then you shall make your way. Who will make it? It's in your Bible. You shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. Kaparia kata. So, your finances is under your control. Your health under your control. Your life under your control. Your longevity in life under your control. Your victory. He says, God put all things under subjection to the man he created. God made no mistake. So, everything, listen, listen. The Holy Ghost comes to live in you and directs you to champion the course of your destiny according to the knowledge that is gained from the word of God and then Jesus came watch this Jesus came listen let me tell you the implication of the coming of Jesus do you realize that Jesus came and acted the part of the woman for you to watch he came and became what he wants you to be walked upon the earth showed you victory over sickness victory over everything unconditional love they wanted to throw him from a cliff he walked through them died conquered death they were looking for money he was stranded he said go to the fish i am convinced that the money came at the mouth the moment he spoke he said i am so powerful i can use anything go to that fish bring out a coin in John 21, listen, when he resurrected in John 21, the Bible says the disciples were struggling to catch fish. There was no fish. At his word, they caught fish and the net was about to sink. The Bible says Peter wore his clothes and ran and he came and met Jesus already roasting fish. Where did he get his own from? He said to no angel. Listen. I will tell you why he said to no angel. Do you realize that Lucifer was a fallen angel? Do you realize that the angels of God are loyal? Satan as a fallen angel is claiming ownership and God is saying let me inform you. I did not give any angel any angel the earth. So any angelic being in heaven or in the earth that claims ownership of the earth is doing it illegally. It says to no angel did he ever say that he will be a partaker. He did not put the world under the subjection of any angel. The secret of victory in life is to accept by faith. Are you listening to me? That you are supernatural. Because you are the bride of Christ. You have come into oneness. We are partakers. I am a partaker. See, that's why my life will keep soaring from glory to glory. It's not because my name is Joshua Selman. I understand the implication of what it means to be one with Christ. Take me anywhere. I know the end. Glory. Glory. The glory of God. Hear me. So when you understand this, there is nothing in the kingdom called disadvantage. Cancel it out of your life quickly. Yeah. What then is the basis of saying you are disadvantaged? Are you listening to me? He 
it doesn't matter what situation you know you are victorious because you are the bride of Christ when Jesus faced situations he didn't cry and wail and do as if he didn't have anything to do about it the Bible says even Jesus knew what to do he knew what to do hallelujah when they met him with a hard question they said this woman was called caught in adultery and Moses wrote in his law that if a woman be caught in adultery she should be stoned so what do you have to say suddenly he tapped from the bank of the wisdom of the spirit and he simply answered them he says he who does not have sin among you should cast the first stone the bible says they were convicted from their heart and they threw back the stone from the oldest it's beautiful that he started from the oldest because he was matured enough to have that common sense from the oldest down to the youngest and he looked at the woman and said woman where are thine accusers he said neither do i condemn thee go and sin no more do you believe that you are one with christ do you believe it the times that are coming will test that revelation hallelujah now from the story i gave here watch this from the story i gave here how did she demonstrate her oneness how did she demonstrate her oneness my wife in this example hallelujah number one she came into terms with it is that correct number two she began to announce it using the marriage certificate as the basis are you following me now that's when you come into that the first revelation is to accept it accept that in christ it's your inheritance to live a prosperous life many of us do not believe that this is possible or oh, not in nigeria who told you it's possible to live in divine health it's not just possible it's your heritage it's not a product of fasting and prayer it's god's present day gift for you as being his bride the only limit you have in christ is the limit that jesus too has his limit becomes your limit that's the reason why listen watch this every time god speaks to you he speaks to you from his realm of ability and reality God can look at you and say Mos, um, he says Moses tell the people to move forward was God stupid was he not seeing the Red Sea he said Moses tell them to move forward you do not know the person you are in partnership with ask them to move forward when Joshua was afraid he said Joshua be strong as I was with Moses I am with you be strong and of good courage every time god is about to set you on assignment he reminds you that you are not alone this is the secret of great men this is the secret of generals they came to a point where they they got a revelation every time i pray for the sick the lord taught me this that's why many times i take a while before i start ministering i'm coming into that alignment that i am not alone i'm not alone so i sing songs that reminds me of his presence Look at what God is doing in this ministry. Does it not tell you that these are not the works of a man? What kind of intelligence can make a young man or young people to do this? Doesn't it tell you that it looks like there is a bigger person? Young Cho says the Holy Spirit, my senior partner. And with the ministry and oneness with that senior partner, he produced the largest church in the world till date an ordinary korean that does not even understand english very well so it's not about oratory that americans teach how to do this seven steps to do these stories if you are not in your oneness with him you will be shocked are you understanding this tonight i'm here to provoke you and then we'll pray 
that you are one with Christ. So as you're writing your test and writing your exams, you are one with Christ. You are one with Christ. You are one with Christ. That's why the sister could get her, her job out of over 500 or 200 people. See, when you see some people blessed for no reason, stop looking at them. Look at the person they are in unity with. See, listen, let me tell you the implication of coming into oneness with someone. When David became king in Israel, he said, is there any man in Saul's house that I may show him kindness? Who was brought? They brought a cripple called Mephibosheth. Hey. Mephibosheth sat at the royal table, although he was crippled because he was called by the king. Mephibosheth was called and he was honored the same food the king ate, he ate. Hallelujah. That's why you can see a man who does not speak good English, but God is still using him. You can see a man who is not fine, is not handsome, it doesn't matter. Demons still cry out because it's not about your looks, it's about your oneness. 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 In many African countries, they don't preach in English. They cast out devils in their local dialects. The devils have never argued that they don't understand the language. Never. I am one with Christ. His supernatural life lives in me. Are you following me now? So you are not weak. Many of you are waiting until the day you become a man or a woman of God. No. This revelation has an implication. There is nothing I will do in this life that I will not emerge at the top. It sounds like pride. But I will be lying if I don't tell you this. It's not because of me. There is no project by the grace of God. All from the time he and I started there is nothing we have laid our hands to do that we did not accomplish. Not because we are great men. Are you listening to me? Because we have a great husband. So you can walk in divine health. Why? I am one with him. His life lives in me. That no demon can come and disturb you. Listen. Can I challenge you friends? Get angry and solve this issue of demons once and for all in your life. Hear me. It was not designed to be a struggle. There's no demon that has threatened Jesus from his throne in heaven. Are you listening to me? When you are entering a car to travel. Be conscious. Of the fact that he is with you. Are you understanding what I'm saying? There are deaths happening everywhere. I'm sure you have been getting reports. Of people dying. And all of this. I feel very sad and grieved in my heart. And we pray that God will keep these people. But now that you are alive. Do you believe your life is by chance? I'm challenging you tonight. Do you realize there is nothing called chance in the realm of the spirit? Everything happens as a result of cause and effect. You are not gathered today by chance. Are you listening to me? It is not by chance. Jesus did not become Lord of all by chance. You don't become healthy by chance. Are you listening to me? You don't become prosperous by chance. You don't become anointed by chance. It's by light. The illumination of the word of God engrafted in your spirit. You don't speak to Satan and say, Satan, leave. And then he leaves by chance. There is no chance about it. Am I convincing you? Get angry and believe this. So if you are to advance in your life, it's not going to be by chance. 
Satan is not invading this world by chance. Channel O is not taking over by chance. Are you listening to me? MTV is not moving by chance. What's the name of this Nigerian rapper that those guys that sing all kinds of of songs that you cannot even resist buying the album. They sing rubbish and nonsense. Is that called chance? Some of them slept in graves for days, received powers and anointings, came back, wrote nonsense on tapes, and there is a force moving men beyond their control. Come on. Nothing happens in life by chance. Success is not by chance. Long life is not by chance. All the people in the early days of the Bible lived long, not by chance. And he slept with his fathers. And he lived a good old age and slept with his father. And he lived a good old age and slept with his father. We travel all the time. I have never feared death in my life. Are you listening to me? Why? We live in a hostile environment. We preach and we walk among people. All kinds of people. I've gone to Yola. I've gone to Maiduguri. I went to Maiduguri on road. I missed my flight. I went on road on a Friday. And we started a journey in the afternoon. You need the word of God to come alive in your spirit. I am convinced that no man can kill me until my assignment is over. This is a revelation I have given to myself. If it were death, I would have died since. Are you listening to me? You don't know the story of my life. If you know the story of my life, you will know that the word of God is not a mistake. I was diagnosed of fungal infection. My head was literally rotten. Are you listening to me? My mother is alive. I have classmates. You can ask them. There was no drug that was used on me. Everything. The doctors were tired. I moved from teaching hospital to teaching hospital. I've seen the power of God. If you live your life to chance, you will die a beggar in this life. There's no chance in this life. Everything happens as a definite operation. Of God's principles. I've been hit by a car. Are you listening to me? I've met with armed robbers on the road. I have met demons. What has happened again? All kinds of things. My eyes, my eyes. I have been that demons have oppressed me. Oh, demons oppressed me for a long time in my life. And today we keep soaring as if Satan does not exist. We live and we move. We plan our activities with no room for Satan. You think it's Satan's will for you to be hearing this word and to be building yourself in grace? See, Paul said we make our boast in the Lord. The problem is, there is no other way to communicate this without sounding like you are boasting. I'll never be poor in this life. Never. It's not a confession. It's a present. It's this, I will never, the same way I can never be a woman. That's the exact same way. Never. I can never be a failure in this life. Please don't take it for pride. I am speaking on account of the revelation of my oneness with Christ. You don't need to travel to Dubai or Hawaii for greener pastures. That's nonsense. The Bible says the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. He didn't mention the name of any country in this world. In green pastures. Green pastures is a spiritual location where the word of God gains consistent fruitfulness in your life. Hi. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. Are you following me now? Jacob went to the house of Laban. 
suddenly Laban began to prosper and this was his testimony he said I come to terms with the fact that I have been blessed for your sake when the ark of the covenant was being restored it was temporarily kept in Obededom's house and within that period Obededom flourished listen kill all of the excuses and all of the things you are putting and take charge from tonight take charge because the earth has been given unto you your finances will not grow a miracle and change one day your health will not change one day demons will not just come are you listening to me things will begin to change the day that you receive as an act of humility what Christ has done for you everywhere you take me the grace of God will distinguish me it's not because of me Esther was scattered among many women but something separated her are you listening to me do you believe what I'm teaching tonight it must have an implication in your life So you expect the blessings that come to your life on account of your oneness with Christ. Everywhere I go to becomes the Garden of Eden. Why the Garden of Eden? Because that's, that was where God designed for man in the first place. And the Holy Spirit leads you. Your life becomes beauty and glory. Do you believe this? So it is within your power to change your finances. Are you hearing me? Don't say I'm young. Don't say I'm old. It's within your power to stop demons from oppressing your life. It's within your power to speak and expect a manifestation in your life. If I bless you, sir, honestly with all humility, you are blessed. You will see it in your life. Hallelujah. So your life is supposed to have prophetic implication that anywhere you are something is about to happen let me use the words of Paula Defarasen that everywhere you go something is about to everywhere Jesus went to you knew that just give a little time you will hear that something has happened there he, he, he always there was a prophetic implication so anywhere God takes you because you are one with him there should be a prophetic implication of your presence he takes me into a wilderness I turn that wilderness into a fruitful vine and I turn that fruitful vine into a forest mission accomplished he takes me to the valley of the shadow of death where there are dry bones I turn every dry bone into an exceeding great army mission accomplished the Bible says that weak and beggarly men were brought to the cave of Adullam where David was and David turned those people into mighty warriors to the time to a point where David said oh that I would drink of the pool of Bethlehem and the Bible says three of those men killed all the armies and went and fetched water and brought for David he said the men were mighty they fought with swords and their hands cleaved to the sword it will not fall mastery you can turn anybody that's why I don't care who you are when you sit under this anointing there is transformation your life must change because of the prophetic implication of the presence of God great men and women like Catherine Kuhlman William Branham they understood their oneness and the prophetic implication was across their communities hallelujah and so you speak over your life and you declare you may look ordinary but not when you begin to speak when you begin to speak and declare that I am blessed oh I am blessed in the city blessed in the country I see no limits the hand of God is upon me I see no limitations in my life the strength of God is at work in me no weakness the Bible says none was weak none was feeble all through their road in the wilderness none was sick none was feeble their clothes grew with them joint heirs joint heirs Say after me, I'm an heir of God. 
and a joint heir with Christ. Say, I'm a joint heir with Christ. I partake in royalty. I partake in dominion. I partake in prosperity. I partake in divine health. Yes. Yes, you must prophesy this. This must become your confession on account of what Christ has done. Hallelujah. You must be open to prophecy and to visions. Why? The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And the Holy Spirit is the one who testifies about Jesus. And he lives in you. He is the spirit of prophecy quickened in your inner man. And so you can see. So you can hear. Don't say I can't hear the voice of God. My sheep hear my voice. You plot evil against me, you are only going to frustrate yourself because I will climb you and your, your plant and just walk. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. The testimony will keep being from glory to glory. From glory to glory. Oh yes, from glory to glory. You will never hear about a worse tomorrow. Is from glory to glory. Are you listening to me? That whatever challenge you face, in the midst of that challenge, you stamp it and you keep smiling as if you are not seeing anything. Hmm. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe in His grace. I believe in who Jesus is. I believe in my oneness with Him. Hallelujah. A gentleman here, some groups of young men, I think they were in the occult or something. They used to come for koinonia right from when they were in that occultic thing. And so they came and they were confessing to me. Can I be honest with you? I wasn't even interested in what they were saying. I was going to have a meeting soon. It wasn't an issue. Whatever the plan is, the Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side. Ten thousand. See, it's a different thing if I have not faced some of these things and I'm talking. Then it's easy to say he's shouting. Let me tell you, there are few things you have faced in life that I have not faced. I tell you with all humility. If it's financial stress, we have faced it. Are you listening to me? I am not married, but we have enjoyed the burden of being real fathers. In terms of the financial implication on people, in terms of the psychological implication i know that the word of god works you must convince yourself and stop arguing it there are many of you that it has not yet become a reality it's easy to jump in church and to talk that you tell yourself yea do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i am a partaker of his divine nature if he's a king then i am a king there is no true king without authority Hallelujah. And what you see the Lord doing in our midst is the awe-inspiring hand of God. His signature that truly shows that he's the husband of the bride. That's why we give him all the glory. That's why there's no reason to brag and make noise. But I cannot but tell you this is the truth. This is your heritage in Christ. That when you come into the revelation of your oneness with Christ, it doesn't matter whether you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you can change things. Stop saying things will change. Start changing them. One day, in the sweet by and by, things will be better. When? Our parents said this from the days of their youth. Oh, things will change, I know. Since when you were crawling, things will change things will change now you're almost getting married things will change and what your father didn't tell you he's now telling you he's saying thank god you are now a man you will change the things <laughs> hallelujah 
I find it very difficult teaching on things like this. Because the only way to teach about it is to, it sounds like you're bragging about it. But there's no other way to express it in that truth. Are you listening to me? It's just like looking at your friends and saying, I am married. You know, sometimes you can feel, am I hurting them? But is it a lie? Or that they made your father a senator. And you say, my daddy just became a senator. Some things, as painful as it is to convey them, they are the truth. Jesus said, before your father Abraham, I am. It wasn't a lie. He said, I am the bread of life. I am the living water. I am the door. I am the good shepherd. How about Jesus? He would see people who were older than him. And he was saying, my little children. See, see. I hope you realize that everybody, the disciples that were older than Jesus, were older than him by more than two years. Because all his colleagues, two years and below, were killed when he was small. So Peter, Peter was married because Jesus healed his mother-in-law. So Peter he was rebuking Satan out of Peter. And he called them little children. A man who was born in their presence. This is what pained the people. They said, is this not Joseph's son? Enough is enough, you this small boy. Just like they look at us and speak. And say, how can a small boy like you say you are prophesying to people? Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. I am what I am. In as much as we try to be humble, he has anointed us. We cannot deny it. As much as we try, I am blessed. I am victorious. Is the truth from God's standpoint. We are a blessed people. Accept it. And give him glory for it. We are dressing nice. Let God be praised. Hallelujah. It is because of what Christ has done. I apologize if we sound proud. Are you listening to me? But I'm challenging you. It is what he gave us. He gave us. It's an inheritance in Christ. That's why the worshippers minister like angels. They minister with the revelation that they are one. That's why the media keep moving from glory to glory. It's not by chance. That's why the ushers keep moving by, from grace to grace. See, listen, that's why we will keep getting sinners saved. Sinners will keep coming and they'll keep getting born again. No devil will stop them. Because it's the authority of Christ that is in motion. Are you listening to me? For four years, we kept meeting while on campus. Many people will come in the night. For four years, some of you never slept between Sunday and Monday. In the rain, in the sun. No chair, no seat, no balloon, no poster. How can you explain that? People criticize us of doing jazz. They criticize us of doing everything. They still say it till today, till tomorrow. People hear of the miracles and they talk. Did that leg really grow? Did that hand grow? Did the SS change? See, in Christ, you are a wonder. You are a sign and a wonder. Are you listening to me? In Christ. When Jangfa stands to prophesy, when Manasseh prophesies, he says, How are these people? These people have taught something. You have robbed something on your. Rob what? Rob what? Hallelujah. Many of you are surprised to see how changed and transformed you are. You gave up on yourself, but see what God has done in your life today. It is a product. I'm challenging you. From tonight, realize that you are a partaker of his royalty. You are not weak. 
you are not beggarly you have the power to bless you have the power to call for things that be not as though they were create a future out of the word of god your words have prophetic implications speak as the bride of christ that you are hallelujah i say it with all humility ask all the leaders from the time we started koinonia by the grace of god and to the glory of the father above we have never had a meeting ask them never had a meeting to discuss and say where will we get the money for this week no hallelujah where is it coming from have we ever come to rob your house did you ever see me with something on my face and i say man i say through the fence this way every thursday night we are going to pray hallelujah you are one with christ his ability flows through you his wisdom flows through you i can never meet a challenge in my life give me time i will solve it give me time i will disengage my wisdom and tap into a higher wisdom take me anywhere it doesn't matter what the limitations are there is an ability in me i have knowledge epignosis is the knowledge of the spirit beyond my age beyond my level of experience beyond my exposure when i speak to you i engage the ability of the spirit if i bless you you are blessed hear me it's not because my name is joshua selman that is your heritage in christ That is your heritage in Christ. You can bless. You can speak. Prophesy. You're tired of sickness. Tell yourself, I refuse sickness. I refuse it. Stop giving excuses for it. Every time you have ideas and projects, nothing is coming in your head. Lay hands and say, I engage the ability of the spirit bigger than my own. You are in class and a curse is threatening you. Get angry. Many of you are afraid of your exams. There are sicknesses that come when you are about to write your exam. Many of you have already bought all the drugs. You have arranged them. Many of you are already worried now. Where will I get the money to buy provisions during exams? And you have started thinking... You have, you have been typing text for three days, hiding it in your draft about the kind of lie you will give your parents to send you money. You say, ah, my father knows I used this one last time. When will you change and believe the word of God? Let God be true and let every man be a liar. Do you not believe that God can move men to bless you? Hallelujah. Your roommate is complaining every time she has epilepsy she has epilepsy every time you come you lay your hands and say how is your epilepsy don't just laugh about it we are going to pray i'm challenging you god will never take responsibility for your future to the degree that you should take it his responsibility is to watch over his word to perform it Kenneth Hagin, please let me have someone come. Just say, yes, sir. Kenneth Hagin, go and read his book, I Believe in Visions. This was his encounter. Jesus was speaking to him. Just stand there. Jesus was speaking to him. Are you listening to me? And suddenly, a demon came in between them. And the demon began to jump. And Jesus kept speaking. Can you imagine? How can a demon come to insult the king of kings and the lord of lords jesus kept speaking and he wasn't hearing jesus because the demon was shouting and making noise at a point kenneth e hagin he was angry he felt embarrassed how can jesus christ the one who died and rose again he's speaking and a demon is jumping and at a point by divine illumination kenneth hagin looked at the demon and said i rebuke you in the name of jesus and the demon disappeared and left hear what jesus told him 
He said, if you did not do anything about it, there is nothing I would have done. Oh God, when will you change my life? The day you accept the fact that you are one with Christ and begin to take your rightful place in Christ. Hallelujah. This is one of the blessings of prayer because it offers you the opportunity to speak, to hagar, to declare. The Bible says, Job 22 verse 28, it says, and thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. It said, where the word of a king is, there is power. Words have prophetic implications. I don't waste my words because I realize they carry power. Are you listening to me? True believers are not noisemakers. They understand the prophetic implication of their words. The Bible says, do not say before an angel, I made a mistake. Because their job is to accomplish the words that are spoken by the saints. We are going to pray and make some decrees over our lives. Are you listening to me? From today, realize that you are ruling and you are reigning with Christ. Say after me, I am royalty. I am one with Christ. My presence has prophetic implications. Yes. When you come into a room, your roommates should start dancing and rejoicing. There are some people you can do anything to be roommates with. You can pay for the room and say, come. Somehow you know that their presence carry prophetic implication. Look at how they sought after Jesus Christ. They just wanted his presence in a place. Because his presence carried prophetic implications. Every time I go to a house, Oh, I go everywhere. I am conscious of his presence. And so when I step in and sit down, I know that the king of glory is sitting. As I speak, I am his ambassador. I am his bride. He is committed to back me up. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. He says, amplified. He says that God is alert and active, watching over his word to perform it. hallelujah there are implications of being a joint heir with Christ that you have the righteousness of Christ and you are the righteousness of Christ say after me I am the righteousness of Christ above condemnation above guilt yes this is God's present reality above guilt Satan cannot look at Paul and say, Saul, you used to persecute the church. Paul was so free of guilt that he could say his testimony and go and sleep about it. He said, I, Paul, used to persecute the church. And he didn't feel bad about it. He went and slept. The greatest proof that you have conquered an issue is that you can talk about it freely. Are you listening to me? Divine health is your heritage. Is your heritage in Christ. I emphasize divine help from your mind, from your spirit. Are you listening to me? You have headache when you are writing exams. Someone, I heard someone gave a testimony some weeks ago that used to sleep in the exam hall. Many of you don't sleep. You have all kinds of pills in your house. You have to take five or six you are less than 25. You are already taking pills as if you are 70 years. While the Bible says the age, their age will be like the age of a tree. Hallelujah. I I'm not against medication. Don't, don't take me wrong. I'm only challenging you not to be complacent over things that are taking the place of the word of God in your life. Are you listening to me? You are doing your project and there's no idea. Your lecturer calls you dull. Say, Holy Spirit, I may be dull in myself, but let's walk together and shock this man. Let him know there is a wisdom. He said, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gainsay. 
you are going for your defense you are fidgeting the bible says when you stand before them you shall not be afraid of what to say for in that very same hour it will not be you speaking but the spirit of your father hallelujah when you stretch your hands to bless a man they look ordinary you just add a bar with it yes but it has prophetic implications that when you lay your hands upon this lady and say sweetheart you are blessed suddenly the heavens remember the meeting last week the heavens begin to shift and to change to accommodate what you have spoken hallelujah there are things in our lives that we have left the responsibility for God every day I keep speaking I say I'm established as a man I'm established if you're waiting for your job to establish you be sure you'll be established at age 50 I've said it here let me challenge the guys before we pray how much is one block have you asked how much is one block how much Eh? 200 110 naira how many of them do you how much is the salary you will collect net aside from tight and your parents and not that, the moment you get a job the hands that are waiting to receive the salary will run you in deficit your father your mother all the people that you are going to bless and those people you will bless them legitimately hallelujah marriage right now is like a building project you build foundation and then you breathe it you rest and then when these people that carry scaffold for building there's something they say oh hey, hey. and then they say oh yeah let's go and then they move <laughs> except god helps you except you come into alignment do you realize the prophetic implication of creating your future by speaking? This is not about being a Pentecostal. This is God's weapon. Kings reign by their words. If it is true that you are a partaker of God's divine nature, then it is your job to begin to paint your destiny in the place of prayer. That's why, see, prayer is not just a ritual to feel spiritual and to fall. It is God's tool for spiritual architecture. You build your life. I don't just allow anything happen in my life and then you say whatever will be will be let me tell you the truth is what you don't want that will be when you leave a farm without plowing it something will grow what's the name what did you define with in your primary science some of you jump class what is it called unwanted plants they are plants but they are unwanted so tonight i'm challenging you that you are a joint heir with Christ. You must tell yourself, I refuse to die until my assignment is over and I will transit with dignity and honor. Satan will tell you, you are the one that has the big mouth to say this. Every time he tells you, remember the story. Where's Tosin? One more time, please come again. Remember the, all of you look at her so that as you pray, I face every time Satan wants to speak. Remember, the bully in my story is Satan. I'm speaking a parable now. You are not like the disciples of old. You are supposed to ask me to interpret. And then I'll say, the bully is Satan. The husband is the husband man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Although she has been married into royalty, her lack of knowledge or taking steps in that regard still crippled her. Do you know that every time we accuse God, God feels very bad on the throne because he ever remains faithful. Are you listening to me? You must rise up. The Bible says arise. You must arise before you shine. Arise. Shake up the dust. Tell yourself, the Lord, according to Hebrews 2, has put all things. Where? Where? Where is Satan? Where is poverty? 
Where is sickness? Where is failure? You must believe it. Don't just say, Kai, this koinonia, we are behaving like children. You, you better take it seriously. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Rise up on your feet. Come on, just pray in the spirit for a while. Pray in the spirit for a while. Walk around. Walk around. Come on. Walk around. Zebra non zebra di bondi ne bossa tali brada sa sabre di ba Katali ba kore ba un shatali ba di di bossa sabre di ba Le pato so kore di ba un shatada Le mbaka posa si katada Engre kete ba keshe gele bossa Pari katali ba kore ba un di ke bossa tada brida Pray in the spirit Charge up your spirit man because we are about to prophesy we are about to decree we are about to establish come on walk around walk around pray all things she has put all things in subjection, all things, poverty, failure. My prosperity is under my control, my destiny. She Hallelujah. Listen. All of you listen, please. Let me teach you how to change things in life. Let me teach you how to change things. Many of you don't know how to change things in the spirit. Let me teach you. It's not just about blindly praying in tongues. Let me teach you something. Do you know what the Bible calls Yazar? The power of creative imagination. Are you listening to me? Every time you are praying in tongues and you are praying to the end that you want to establish something in the spirit. Are you listening to me? As you are praying in tongues, employ the power of prophetic imagination put that limitation before your eyes are you listening to me and pray squarely like a priest if you are speaking against health or sickness see it see yourself rising in health are you listening to me and then you will begin to be conformed to what you are seeing if you are speaking about your finances begin to see the new you walking in finances in grace in glory don't just pray blindly and allow your mind to roam around go ahead and pray in the spirit <laughs> Come on, Pray in the spirit. Charge your spirit, man. Because we are about to prophesy. 
We are about to decree. We are about to establish. All things. All things. Under his control. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. One more time, let me read Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8. Thou hast put all things. Pick up your Bible because you are going to personalize it. I'm in control. No matter how things get, I am in control. I am in control. Yes. 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 You are not out of control. Say I'm in control. No matter how bad things are, I am in control. I'm in control. You're not see. Listen, listen. Hold on. Hold on, please. Hold on. I know we like saying God is in control. Hallelujah. That is right. But now, when you say I am in control, you are not replacing God. Are you listening to me? What you are saying is that, look, as a king, no matter what it is, it's not enough to make me stand up from my throne. I am in control. The whole earth is still in chaos. Jesus is still seated on the throne. Are you listening to me? We are going to read the A part of Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8. Hallelujah. We are going to read it up to the part that it says, He left nothing that is not put under Him. Everywhere there is Him, you are going to put your name. Not me. Me is not your name. Are you listening to me? Are you ready now? Want to read verse 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection to Joshua Selman's feet. For in that you put all things under Joshua Selman, you left nothing that is not put under him. Listen. How many things are within your control? Listen. The word under your feet simply is a prophetic language. It was an ancient language that meant you are in control. How many things are you in control of? Your finances. Your health. Now you are going to prophesy. Are you listening to me? You're, listen. You are going to prophesy in the name of the one that you are in oneness with. Begin to call forth your health, your finances, wisdom. Prophesy. I am in control. I am in control in the name of Jesus. I am in control of my environment, of everything that happens around me. Hallelujah. I am in control. I refuse to be sick. I am a sickness. I refuse poverty. I am in control. In the name of Jesus. My presence carries a prophetic implication. Prophesy. Prophesy. I call for finances. In the name of Jesus, wisdom, 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 the spirit of revelation, inside, power, advancement. 
I am well favored. I am honored. I am the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I am not weak and beggarly. He has called me God with you and of his honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, many of you, on account of your oneness with Christ, you have suffered, literally. Why will you not be glorified on account of your oneness with Christ? Many of you, on account of your oneness, you have been criticized. On account of your oneness, you have experienced it. Why will you not be honored on account of your oneness? We like suffering for Christ. We run away from being honored by Christ, for Christ, and with Christ. Hallelujah. Now, you're going to speak to things. Listen, you are not praying to God. Are you listening to me? You are wearing your kingly crown, and you're going to begin to decree. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, And thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. Listen. He told Job, he said, Job, has thou commanded thy morning? Have you spoken to the atmosphere to respond according to the word of God? The Bible says, the Lord stands in the congregation of the mighty. And then he begins to speak from there. We are going to decree, listen. You are going to give boundaries to everything called evil in your life. Are you listening to me? You're going to draw a line. The Bible says oppression shall be far from thee. It is within your power to speak. Now is not the time to stare at your neighbor. Now is the time to speak. Tell yourself, death, you are under my feet. Failure, sickness. Prophesy for yourself, for your family. For your family. No death, no sickness. Prophesy your words have prophetic implications. Speak to the atmosphere, impregnate the womb of the morning. Let the atmosphere be pregnant with the words that you speak. Your words have prophetic implications. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. I'm above sickness. I'm above failure. I'm above death. I refuse to die. Ever increasing glory. Ever increasing grace. Ever increasing grace. Ever increasing finances. Ever increasing health. Ever increasing honor. Ever increasing wisdom, prophesy, son of man, prophesy, son of man, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy to the heavens, prophesy. Hallelujah. 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 Are you ready to speak over your exams? 
now that you know who you are are you ready to prophesy listen listen you're going to call all your courses one by one are you listening to me one by one and declare and say open up unto me open up listen you're going to receive wisdom insight favor come on begin to pray prophesy the time has come arise the time has come prophesy prophesy call yourself the head not the tail prophesy you are both you are both you are both prophesy no missing script no missing script prophesy no victimization no victimization prophesy favor favor in every cause favor favor for you Prophesy. The words have prophetic implications. Prophesy. Make up test. Make up test. Prophesy. You are king. Your king will back you. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord declared to us this year that it's a season of great grace and glory. Listen, these are not imaginary spiritual things. I need you to know that we're not drinking tea when the word just came on our head. Are you listening to me? He said, that which I tell you in the secret, declare thou on the mountaintop. You are going to pray for yourself. This is not for your neighbor. Are you listening to me? Invoke it from the spirit and say it's a season of great grace glory honor a distinguishing come on prophesy speak it i step into unusual honor unusual grace unusual grace unusual favor unusual grace hey. Hey. Grace, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hey, shut up, shut up. I expect favor. I expect glory. I expect grace. I expect it in my life. I look forward to it. Yes. I am like a well watered garden. Christ lives in me. I have eternal life in my spirit. The blessing is upon me. It speaks everywhere I go. The blessing is upon me. The blessing is upon me. I am a career of the blessing. It is upon me. Hallelujah. The blessing is upon me. Creating the garden of Eden. Everywhere I go. The blessing is upon me. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Say after me, the blessing is upon me. And the blessing speaks. Favor follows me everywhere I go. The grace of God is upon me. I enjoy unusual insight. Uncommon grace. Uncommon favor. I walk in glory. I grow from strength to strength. From grace to grace. From power to power. From wisdom to wisdom. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be a failure. I am the head. Not the tail. I am above. And I am in control. Shout hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. So throughout this week, I'd like you to walk with that mindset. You are in control. Stop looking weak and beggarly. Listen. It's not a guarantee for you to be proud and arrogant and when you see other people you begin to belittle and talk them you are immature if you do that you are not spiritual are you listening to me revelation is not a guarantee for you to talk down others are you listening to me when you find someone who has not seen the light you share in love you don't try to show superiority any man that does that you are being childish it's a proof of spiritual childishness are you listening to me? One more time, say, I am in control. Lord, we give you praise. Oh, I take charge of my life. I take charge. Parko Pariata. I take charge. Hallelujah. We're out of time. If tonight is your first time worshiping with us, very quickly inside and outside i'd like you to quickly run out please appreciate them as they come inside and outside if this is your first time please keep clapping they are coming thank you very much for coming inside and outside we have a blessing for you inside and outside keep clapping they are coming this is your first time of worshiping with us at koinonia god is faithful oh hallelujah keep clapping they are coming the Spirit of God brought them by Himself. Keep clapping. We love you. Thank you for coming. You could have been anywhere else. Thank you for coming. Keep appreciating them. They are coming. They came by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for making our time to worship with us. This is Koinonia. How many of you were blessed tonight? Praise God. It's our desire that you take charge and that you begin to walk in royalty. Hallelujah. It's your heritage in Christ. He brought you into that position 
and put all things under your feet. We want to pray and prophesy to you. Hallelujah. These are not empty words. We are speaking out of revelation. And we are going to call for the blessing of the Lord upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands and pray for them. We command the blessing upon you. In the name of Jesus, you will know that you have met a people of revelation tonight. We call for the heavens to bless you. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed in your going out and your coming in. We prophesy and we speak to the heavens on your behalf. You're walking in power. You're walking in favor. You're walking in grace. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. In one minute, I'd like you to just walk down the aisle and you meet the ushers. They welcome you and just have your information. I appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, very quickly, let's take the following announcements.